Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Dwalisa Michelle here, and I am driving. Um, I have not been out here in a minute, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm, I'm gonna come back, or oh, I've been back, or nothing like that. I'm just really trying to figure out life right now, if I'm being completely honest. So, figuring out life and trying to do YouTube or figure out how I'm gonna do YouTube, yeah. I just want to like focus on one certain area which actually that's what i want to come talk to y'all about so i know like real estate is still a thing i <laughs> did not pass my exam but 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 we are going to take it again in the meantime y'all know or some people know uh that i am a substitute teacher during the school during the school time um, and I've done a lot of customer service jobs in between then. Well, I really didn't think I was going to go back to the district. <laughs> Did not think I was going to go back to substance teaching. Um, but I was working at a bar, which I started working at the beginning of the summer, I think. And I talk. Like, I talk to all my tables. Like, actual, like, real conversation. And you know fast forward one of my tables that i was just socializing with i work at um i don't know if i should say it again well a bar that i was at um one of my tables happened to be the superintendent of a school district here and his wife who's a principal and they they were just you know in so many words we have this position and we think that you'll be good for it. So we want you to come um, do a interview and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Fast forward. <laughs> I do the interview, guys. I do the interview. Oh, my God. The bookkeeper comes in. It's like, you know, everything's great, but your background check needs to be updated. Why? I... Like, I literally said that I did all the modules. I'm like, okay, cool. These people, the 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 bookkeeper says, oh, you know, once you do it, it'll be two to four days. We'll do blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. I call to see if they had received my um, background check because it's a fish. As of, I think, the 28th, it switched to... Oh, you gotta move out the way. It switched to um, electronics, so I don't have to like take the physical like forms and fingerprinting to anybody, you know, which is a great thing. But this said, oh, you know, it'll be as early as as early as two weeks. Mind you, I was told they wanted me to. I didn't tell y'all. She was just like, "Oh, well, that's unfortunate because we we're gonna have you start on Monday." And this was like the Thursday prior. What do you mean you're gonna have me start on Monday? Oh my God! I was so, like, my heart like fell. Y'all don't understand. Life has been so hard right now, and the devil was just like, "Hi, how you doing, guy?" Like, not my friend, not her, because. Even though it said, they told me, um, ESS said two weeks. The form that you have to turn in says four weeks. I emailed, you know, just to respond to the bookkeeper. Like, hey, here's an update. Let you know that this is in and that's in. And we're good to go. Just basically playing the waiting game. She's like, well, we absolutely need you to start Monday. How I'm going to start with what's going on here? How am I going to start Monday when it takes <laughs> between two, as early as two weeks, according to ESS, and then like the federal background fingerprint people, paperwork say four weeks. And they could, like, it could be longer than that, potentially, like. On the bright side, I was talking to the representative and I was just like, hey, <laughs> this is my situation. And I I cannot not start on Monday. Like, this is my job. This is going to be my job guaranteed 
Monday through Friday ugh, for the rest of the school year. That's until next year, y'all. This lady said, well, we, there is another option. And once they see it floating in the system that it's been received, they can fill out an affidavit. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the affidavit. So, <laughs> we are, I'm actually about to go check out a coffee shop. It's called the Grind Coffee Bistro. And it's black owned. And the lady's coming to my bar before. And I said I was going to come up there. And I just have not, I have not made it there. But we have time today, so that's where we're gonna go. But first, damn it, I need to go to that bank. How am I supposed to get to the bank? I think that's a bank. Is my security a bank? I should know this. There's a teller, it's a bank. Okay, y'all, so now that we have that taken care of, I almost feel like the security people was watching the camera. They got them a good laugh of me falling coming out the door i have on sandals um yeah but let's go to this bistro hey friends so we have made it to the bistro the grind bistro is located in the pleasant ridge shopping center next to belk if you look up at the belk sign look right down to your right and you'll see her tucked right in the corner so as you can see we have made it into the bistro don't you think that the decor is very simple, but it really warms your heart? The hours of operation currently are Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I strongly suggest you guys come check it out. The hours are subject to change. I went with the turkey leg stuffed baked potato, and it is covered in barbecue sauce and cheese it smells so good and it's paired with a side salad and a raspberry vinaigrette dressing i did order ranch on the side just because i wasn't sure if i would like it and in the back there you can see i ordered a caramel latte iced If my turkey leg tastes like that, I want the whole turkey leg. Listen, it yes, <laughs> it really is. Mm. Oh, if you like Starbucks, come to the grind because it, it's better. It tastes better. This is so creamy. It's good. Yes. Friends, I don't think y'all understand. I am really trying to understand how this woman got this coffee this creamy i mean the texture of this iced coffee is to die for way better than starbucks i'm gonna be completely honest if you are a person that likes your coffee to actually taste like coffee definitely go try them out i don't know if it tastes like it's made with love but probably a bit all. listen <laughs> this right here is it it's really lit Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want me on camera? For what? My vlog. <laughs> what I gotta say, girl? Nothing. I'm I'm in your establishment. Period. Yep, yeah, y'all come check us out here at the grind. <laughs> We're in Pleasant Ridge, located off Highway 10. It's kind of tricky to find us, but it if is. you go around on the other side of Belks, we are tucked in the corner between Belks and Atari. You'll see the fountain and just look in the corner and we're there. Great food, amazing coffee, great treats, beautiful atmosphere. So, you know, stop on in. What I'm talking about. <laughs> now I'm gonna eat y'all. Hey y'all, so we are back. <laughs> I'm real late. Uh, guess what? So I am officially, y'all, God is so good. I really want to cry, but I'm not going to cry yet. I'm going to cry when I officially, like, am set in stone of you are starting in your long-term supposition. Y'all do not understand the things that I have been through, the situations I have put myself in to even have such difficulties 
with certain things my forehead is shining oh my god um yeah all in all my background check is good to go oh my god i was scared i'm not even gonna lie to you i was holding it together and i was like you know what your girl yeah we made our bed we gotta lay in it if that's the circumstance um i'm grateful i'm grateful and as of five minutes ago it is 3 36 what's today wednesday moon siri wednesday august 18th <laughs> we on wheels up and your girl is officially in compliance and this might be like something small to a lot of people but y'all don't understand the things that i have had to like deal with over this last year behind one freaking situation a lot i mean like relationships things falling apart not being able to go take my real estate exam like almost not being able to go back and substitute teach it's been a lot and i'm just grateful if i'm gonna be completely honest i was gonna tell y'all that um lillian needs my attention and wants my attention so your girl gotta go i just wanted to close out this vlog and i wanted to tell you guys that i really love y'all and just because you make mistakes we're going to make mistakes and just don't give up on yourself like if you could if you get to a block in a row don't like very easily if they could have just been like oh well we mm, no and i left it at that then it just would have been no but there's always a way around things if you believe in who or whatever you believe i believe in god <laughs> i believe in god and i know that like if it's meant for me it's gonna happen no matter what is in the way it's going to happen and your girl got it situated your girl got it situated but i love y'all thank y'all for tuning in hope y'all enjoyed this vlog um fingers crossed i'll be able to do more like um more uplifting vlogs more fun vlogs more family vlogs with the little woman y'all can't see over here the the whole nine that's really my goal and i ha i haven't done youtube because i felt like i was forcing it you want to come say hi yeah come say hi i knew you was gonna say that <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that i feel like i've been forcing youtube and i haven't been happy with the content that i've been recording um and this is this is this really made me happy. my heart is so full right now and this is just the beginning Lillian's a kindergartner. Ain't that yeah. right? <laughs> my baby is a kindergartner. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Bro, I'm only 26. I'm not, you not, I'm not supposed to be a kid. You're not supposed to be in kindergarten. You know that? Bro, you can't, oh. But I wanna, I wanna stay in kindergarten. Oh no, but we don't stay in kindergarten. We gotta get older. Cause after kindergarten is first grade and then eventually you got fifth grade and then you that's it that's right. and then you got sixth grade and seventh and eighth and then we're gonna be in a high school we're not we're not thinking that far because no ma'am no high school for you you cannot get old you cannot go to college and leave me what i'm supposed to do if you leave me by myself um what's supposed to happen I'm then gonna what am I going to do? I'm going to, what you mean you? Me. I'm going to cry. I'm going to miss you. Well, you ain't got to miss me because I'm going to be right there. If you go to school out of state, <laughs> boo, I'm coming with you. Can I come in? Can I get in your suitcase? Please. Can I get in your suitcase? Like you can pack me in your suitcase and we can, like, I can just be in your dorm room. In case I, in, in case, case I, you need me, in case you want me to cook. And in case you want me to rub your feet, paint your nails, help you with your, do your in homework. Case, in case I, and in case I don't know the right answer of the one plus one. What's one plus one? I mean, I talk about. But like what is one plus one? It's two, but I talk about of the other numbers. Because <laughs> she's smarter than the rest of y'all. And two plus two is four. Period. Yeah. 
Period. Period. And four plus four is eight. <laughs> Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me blow it. Is it okay? Oh, I, I died. I'm just playing. I can't believe. I can't. I'm excited, but we finna. You gonna help me cook at Grandma's house? Cool. Dad, cause you're my mom. All right, say bye, friends. Bye, friends. Thank you for watching our video for two kids and and we're gonna have a great day come next time bye bye you can do it you try to get up there thank you for watching our whole whole video all right let's do bye. it say bye oh